Good morning, everybody. Well, it is for me, at least. Welcome to another episode here on the Aussie Lawn. If you're only new to the channel, welcome. My name's Brenton, and we're really glad that you could tune in this morning, today, tonight, whenever it is you're watching. Welcome. We're glad you're here. As you've just seen, I just take a little trip in the car, went down to the irrigation store. I had to get a few bits and pieces for an upcoming project that we're doing with Shane's Lawn. So a few weeks ago, you saw uh, we talked about a turfing project with some buffalo at a mate's place so today we're going to duck down there we're going to conduct some tests on his water supply so we're going to do a flow test and we're going to look at his uh, water pressure and then we can design the irrigation system uh, to suit his his uh, his water pressure his water flow etc and then we can be sure that it'll work perfectly when he needs it to so I'll, uh, I'll show you what I've got here. I've just built a very crude, but it'll be effective system to work out pressure. And then we can do calculations later on about how to do that. So once we've done that, then we're gonna have a little look at the front yard, see an update on the recovery from the earlier disease that I suffered with it. But we look, without further ado, let's build up this little crude uh, pressure checking system. And uh, yeah, on with the show. Righto, so all I've got here, it's pretty simple. Most important thing, obviously, is a pressure gauge. So you can get those at the irrigation store. That's no big deal. Um, a couple of bits of pipe. In this case, I'm just using the 19 millimeter stuff. Uh, elbow, a couple of joiners, and that sort of thing. So the concept will basically be, I'm gonna screw this one into here, like so. Gonna stick an, a T-piece onto that. Just clamp it down like so then we're going to put another bit of pipe get him on there there another one there get it on Righto, so then all we're going to do is put that there, which is going to screw into a tap. So basically, source, water source. And then we're going to have that on there, that tap screwed into there. So basically, we can check two things here. We can have this valve shut and we can check static water pressure. So we can check the pressure of the water that's not moving. And then we can do the flow test at the same time. So we can connect this into the, the nine litre bucket and time how long it takes to fill that nine litre bucket. That will give us all our calculations for, to uh, correctly work out how many sprinklers we can run on one line, how much they're good for in water delivery, etc. So I'm gonna build this up and finish it off and then we'll go around and we'll test it out. Hopefully it'll work just fine. So all we're going to need to do is attach it to the tap. We've used this tap here in particular because this is the closest to the source that we're going to use to irrigate this upcoming project. So Shane's going to get a plumber to come in and we're going to tap into the irrigation, the, 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 the main line of the, of the house here, put a valve box in. So basically for the, for the sake of the test and designing the irrigation system, this is, this is good enough. Okay, so we just attach them a little, little hurdy-gurdy here to the, to the tap. And when we turn it on to get the pressure reading, um, don't flick the tap on all the way because you're likely to bugger the spring. I may or may not have just done that and this may or may not be a whole new uh, whole new pressure pressure gauge, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> so slowly turn on your tap. Shut off your valve and it's gonna give you a reading. So once it levels out, and we're sitting at about not quite 850 kPa, and then what we're going to do is, I'm just going to empty this bucket out. 
So now we're going to do a flow test. So this is this is actually a 10 litre bucket, but it's got litre increments. So we're going to measure it at nine litres and take how long it fills. Sorry, take how long, measure, time, time how long it takes to fill the bucket and get a flow pressure rating as well. So let's go. Make sure that's open all the way. Are you ready to go? Right, wrong way. Right, so back home now, and I was pretty impressed with that with that flow test. They actually have amazing pressure there. I'm gonna actually, it's actually spurred me on to see what my water pressure here is at home. So I'll check that out later. But it took nine seconds to fill that nine liter bucket. Basically, that whole area uh, should be able to cover quite comfortably with the one zone. But anyway, look, let's move on now and see how we're going with this front lawn. As I said, we're now sitting on frost as of this morning, frost number ten. And if we look back there. Still great colour, huge improvement since the uh, since the Chief Aquaflow treatment and the fertiliser app with the Nutrifeed. Um, really impressive how it's bounced back. Is still getting grass off it when I mow. So starting, this is pretty much the same uh, angle I took this morning when the frost was on it. So still holding amazing colour for cooch in winter, end of July. So you're going to see this video in August, but wow. Um, now. It did burn off marginally, uh, but as I said, the only visible patch still of the disease we had was here. Um, but yeah, no, it's come on leaps and bounds. Again, these lighter areas, they, the camera highlights them more than they really are, but you know, they, they're still sort of there, but wow. I do reckon though, my next major battle here though, ah, the broadleafs, they've really actually crept in. And being in a rural area like I am, it doesn't take much for the paddock at the back, the wind to blow, and it's always breezy here, as I've mentioned before. And you can see there, there's some here. Um, so it's probably an upcoming job for me now is to get in and get these broadleafs treated because, um, yeah, they, they get, yeah, there's just a little bit too much of it there for my liking. So I'll get some of that uh, broadside chemical out and I'll, I'll treat it, treat them with that. But other than that, I really can't complain about this first season of cooch maintained through the winter. Still got some persistent rye pieces too. This is from years gone by, so that's actually, yeah, there's still a few bits of rye floating around as well. So it's a little bit there, and you can see bits up there as well. Not too concerned about those, but they're there. Right, well, it's got the better of me. And just quickly before we sign off, I thought we'd just do a test here at home and uh, just have a little comparison now. I know straight away that my pressure isn't as strong as Shane and Kel's down the road now. They're only three or four streets away. Uh, but yeah, I know I know this pressure isn't as strong, but I just want to see how much difference there is. So. Righto, so same situation as last time. We'll just open up this ball valve, just a tiny, tiny little bit. Hang on, that's, that's off. That's all. We'll just open a little bit so we don't blow the backside out of it like I might have done on the first bloody pressure gauge. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Right, oh, so just over, just over 600. So there's over 200, over 200 kPa difference just in a couple of streets. So that's actually kind of interesting within itself. So yeah, there you go. And that's. Uh, that's the end of another episode here on the Aussie Lawn. If you liked the episode, like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Tell your friends about the channel if they're interested in turf and yards and stuff like that. Pass that on to them. Let them know that we are out there having a little go. And uh, yeah, look, take it easy, guys. Have a great weekend, great night, great evening. And we will see you next time here on the Aussie Lawn.